Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be, what group did I say this was? Group E? E? Yeah. Group E, the other side of the bracket. We've got Kiko starting the upper left-hand corner as the blue Terran, midnight blue, going up against Spaniard in the upper right as the white Protoss. A lot of white pro uh, a lot of white Protoss. A lot of Protoss in this group. Spaniard is in fact a Spanish uh, player. I have not, he's an old school player, so I found out, but I have yet to see him play. He's on Team Ash. By the way, if you have not already checked it out, check it out, check out STPL. Um, you'll see Kiko play there. I've seen some amazing matches with Kiko, and I know Kiko's a pretty solid player. So I'm excited to see Kiko out in this match. And it looks like Spaniard looking to do some cheese right off the bat. So placing a pylon in the middle of the map. So... Let's see if... Oh, and Kiko, unfortunately, is going to build this supply... Wow, against Protoss, even. Going to uh, build this supply depot at the rear behind the mineral line. Maybe we'll see if this barracks is going to be a forward barracks to create some sort of front door seal. But with this supply depot out of place to provide additional... You know, kind of, you want the supply depot here, the barracks here, where you can just move back and forth in between. It's going to be difficult to micro marines against incoming zealots. Now, it's not over yet, because secondarily, what needs to happen here for Spaniard is not just having zealots on the field, needs to be able to scout and find Kiko's location. Kiko getting this barracks up, and there's still an opportunity for additional supply depots. There's a refinery, some gas steel, which will help. So maybe, maybe. With a delay in location, maybe if Kiko can get the scout off immediately, maybe we'll see cross-positional scout moving to the south. Is it just going to go to the south and to the left, or is it going to go across the middle of the map? It's starting to move. Ah, uh, no, it's just, so not going to get the scout on the gateways. First salt being produced. It looks like Spaniard, fortunately for Kiko, is going to be scouting bottom right, so he knows to send the zealots upper left, but Kiko by the time all of this comes to pass, should be able to walk up into this main, see a complete lack of pylons and other tech, and know that a two gate's incoming. Okay, here's the additional supply depot, so we do see at least a bit of a blockade. Additional marines are gonna be produced. The factory already being planted down, so Spaniard needs to get in here, needs to get on top of that SCV, and delay that factory as much as possible. A bunker even being placed. Upon seeing this, additional zealots starting to flood in. And now the game begins in earnest. The Marines already taken additional hits. Some SEVs blockading actually being nearby to perhaps protect both the bunker and make sure that factory gets up. If that factory is established in sufficient vultures are produced, that should be game in Kiko's favor. Bunker there along the mineral line. One SEV has been damaged. Three zealots now in here against two Marines. The factory not being constructed. The Zelts backing off. Now continuing to build. The Zelts taking out some SCV to the north. More Zealots pouring through. Is that factory going to finish? That's going to be the critical piece. One, was that factory going to finish? And also, are there going to be... Is the Vulture going to have room to sneak out? Because it, they produce out of this bottom right-hand corner. And if the Zelts can jump right on top, they might be able to push that Vulture to the corner. But the Bunker's here. Third Marine being produced. Still plenty of SCVs. <clears throat> There's that Vulture about a fourth finish. But yeah, this is going to be Danger Town. So let's see if Kiko can buy some room to get allow this Vulture to sneak out so it can start doing damage against these Zealots to get positioned back in this base. Marine production has been paused. The Vulture actually trying to escape to the north gets killed immediately. And the Zealots now pressing forward. There's still four Marines in that bunker. It's backing off. The factory being lifted off moved locations. Spaniard still producing more Zealots. I mean, he's all in with this build at this stage of things. We do see a cybernetic score finishing behind this. So Spaniard making a game of it. A second Vulture is going to be produced, but there's still five Zealots out on the front. And if Dragoons can get in here before there's sufficient... Tanks, other sorts of defenses. Spaniard still has a strong shot at this. The Zelts piling up in the upper left-hand corner. Looks like they wanted to block gas production. Able to get another SCV kill. Spaniard's actually ahead in the overall worker count. 
as things stand. The Vulture is going to be produced. Two more Zealots making their way up. The Refinery looks like it might get wiped out. Now, keep in mind, Dragoons do pretty well. And with the Zealot support, if Spaniard can keep these Zealots alive, these Zealots with Dragoons do pretty well against what Kiko's fielding. Another Marine down. The Zealots getting chewed up very rapidly. So no Zealots left. I take it back. Two Zealots left coming in from reinforcements able to take out a Vulture. But they're not long for life. So Kiko going to be able to wipe out what's left. But now the Dragoons making their way forward. Two Dragoons. Let's see if they're going to group up. So it's going to come down to SCVs and Marines. Keep in mind, Marines chew through Dragoon Shields fairly effectively. SCV down. And Spaniard actually backing out. A Vulture making... Oh, this is why. A Vulture... Already with four kills, managing to make its way. Hero Probe able to get a kill inside Spaniard's base. And the Vulture's pressing forward, trying to apply counter pressure now. One of them slipping through. Another Dragoon making its way. And a bunch of SCV and Marines looking to engage the Dragoon that's left. A bunker being established at that natural expansion. And Spaniard trying to micro at two locations. The probe once again pulling out of this line. Is this going to be an all-in from this stage? Or are they just moving? It looks like they're just moving the natural expansion. Vulture able to get one kill. It's taken out. But providing a lot of distraction to the Dragoons at the natural. A bunker is up. So the Marines should be able to get in place here. And so Kiko looks like he, with six Marines, might be able to establish his own natural expansion. And with this, we'll see if the game resets a bit. Kiko with a slight worker lead. The Dragoons actually, or sorry, the Vulture moving to the north, just checking things out there. We do have a machine shop in place. Spaniards setting up Dragoons at his natural expansion to deal with Vultures that are trying to sneak through. Range upgrading. Let's see if Spaniards just going to skip everything and save up to go ahead and get a Nexus. This is very unusual. Usually, it's game over one direction or another. The bunker in the main being... Killed to prevent as it messes with SCV pathing and can slow down mining time. The refinery had to be repaired and it looks like it is still up. Mines being researched, a tank being produced. And now Kiko going ahead and scouting, making sure that there weren't any ninja expansions being grabbed. Spaniard grabbing his natural expansion. Looks like a handful of dragoons and things restabilizing on both sides. I think I'm going to give an advantage to Kiko. Overall, because first of all, mines being produced. We do have a vulture that's out in the field. And you have these two gateways. Once they're scouted, the vultures can just plant mines and start wailing away at them. And I don't know that Spaniard will feel all that comfortable moving out with these dragoons to engage. Nexus is up. Maybe Spaniard has some other tricks up his sleeve. He's grabbing a robotics facility now. Natural expansion about halfway finished for Kiko. And already has a siege tank. He's very well defended here at this natural expansion. Still has not found... I guess this is the scouting SCV trying to find potentially these gateways. And the one place they have not scouted is the most obvious place. The direct middle of the map. So a couple additional Dragoons look like they're going to be able to be produced and funnel their way back to the natural expansion. And as every unit that can be snuck out of these gateways before they're negated is a huge boon for Spaniard because oftentimes when you proxy these gateways and you can't defend them at a distance location like this you're just kind of sacking them you're just going to assume it's going to be a cost you have to eat down the line that you're going to have to recover from robotic support bay and a shuttle being produced so Spaniard feeling the pressure wants to get the economic damage done these gateways still producing units and remaining undeterred haven't even been scouted yet as far as I can tell but Kiko has his natural expansion up Grabbing a second gateway. Does have siege tech on the way. And also getting his own combat station. Also has an armory. So I'm wondering if he's going to try to fold back into a level 1 weapons. Some sort of level 1 weapons push. Which will be somewhat delayed. But could still be very, very potent. Reaver being produced. Spaniard still does not have any gateways in his main. And some zealots are folding back this direction. So Spaniard actually... With a supply lead, with a worker lead, but these gateways are still stranded in the middle of the map, but they're completely untouched. Kiko, I think, definitely going to go for a push here. 
opening up the eggs on the front. Getting Charon Booster upgrade, it looks like. And a handful of Goliaths, which will definitely negate... I think he comps at it and, and found the Reaver. So Reaver and two Zealots scooping up. Engineering Bay is going to be finished. Let's see if Kiko can get a decent turret spread in the interim. It looks like he's already got an SCV in position, potentially put a turret down. But this shuttle, already slow. it's going to be slow speed, crawling along the way. Dragoon's peeking out a little bit. Looks like a Nexus is already going up at the 3 o'clock location. Two Dragoons filtering their way that direction. A turret too late. However, plenty of attack forces to engage. Is this shuttle going to escape? A Zealot being dropped to go ahead and allow that shuttle to escape with its life. Finally, an SCV finds the proxy gates in the middle of the map. Two Dragoons are going to be produced out of this. Kiko currently just allowing that to happen. Now level one's... Now level 1 weapons being upgraded. Machine shop down. Third factory being placed. I do believe there's a turret underneath this. That is unscouted. Additional missile turret being grabbed. So I believe that Kiko's plan from here is to start pushing out with that level 1 weapons. Particularly, I, I gotta assume, upon seeing this third gateway. Or sorry, thir third nexus here at the 3 o'clock location. Three gateways being planted in the main. Citadel of Dune. I'm not going to call this five gateways yet, because keep in mind these are still stranded out at this location. These mines in location. Kiko starting to press forward with a bit of this attack force. He's not showing any motions towards that 12 o'clock, so it looks like this is going to be a push. This is before. This is well before level one weapons is finished. Dragoon starting to clear those mines. We do have that charm booster upgrade. We'd also have. Uh, Vulture Speed to potentially reinforce this. And Kiko may be just going to go settle for a front door seal. So like, okay, you go ahead and have those two bases. I'm going to take out these gateways in the middle. But if he doesn't take out these gateways, this is almost like an automatic reinforcement point for Spaniard. Spaniard getting a little bit of damage done on that forward siege tank. Spaniard needs to regroup his forces. He has some to the north. Some to the south. It looks like two Dragoons dying for free as they were rallied, it looks like, towards the main. Getting wiped out there. A Reaver able to wipe out a Marine at that location. So Spaniard potentially in a bit of trouble here. Just because four siege tanks, a bunch of Marines, and this Vulture starting to close in on that. Looks like they're going to press up to that 3 o'clock location. Eating some free kills and damage. It looks like they're just on move command. Now, Spaniard, with the reinforcements, getting a Multi-pronged attack and wiping that out very rapidly. Only two siege tanks and two marines left. Two siege tanks regrouping on the high ground from the north. But there's a shuttle to go ahead and drop and do some mind drags right on top of that. That reaver on top of those siege tanks as well. Kiko expending a lot of attack forces. He's behind in supply now. And that army has been shattered. Spaniard all of a sudden at three bases... Technically at five gateways. I take it back six gateways. Level one weapons uh, finishing not that long ago. And Kiko down to just three siege tanks, which I do believe can hold on this front just because of the nature of revolver. But Spaniard in a decent position. He's ahead in workers. He's ahead in economy. Some vultures sneaking up before this cannon's warping in. It looks like they're going to be able to get a handful of kills. They're somewhat boxed out, but they can still... Do some damage that's going to draw some Dragoons back from the north. It looks like that 12 o'clock base has also been taken an eye. A Reaver moving in. There are no Goliaths this time to provide any defense. Taking out that SCV, slowing down that Starport. And might even be able to get some economic damage done. But keep in mind these Vultures emptying this out in the background. So it's going to be tit for tat on both sides. Eight kills on this Reaver already, but keep in mind a lot of that was from that attack force earlier. The Vulture's trying to engage this. They're getting picked off. Reaver's still able to do damage. These siege tanks should put an end to that attack. Another turret being placed. The Vulture's still there, though. The Dragoons boxed out of their own location to provide a defense. They're trying to make their way up. So emptying this 3 o'clock base, which is doing some nice counter-economic damage. The Reaver looks like it's stranded that shuttle being taken out, so it's finally getting wiped out. So as things stand, Spaniard with a significant supply lead, 40 supply, still ahead in workers, still has three bases, although this 
Third base is not sat saturated. More vultures moving out to potentially do some damage right there. Has some stranded gateways. Tacking on additional gateways, it looks like he's going to try to play this gateway man style. Is showing no indications of making his way uh, towards any form of arbiter tech. I'm not sure I like this on this map. Mostly because there's so many ramps and breaches that just make siege, siege tanks just so much stronger. And the same thing happens equivalently on the Terran side of the map. Kiko making movements towards the middle. Looks like some vultures engaging with mines to the south. I like that they're just kind of camping out these additional locations. Building a command center to go ahead and potentially take that one o'clock base. Now here's the nature of Revolver. Usually you get those three bases for free. And then it's kind of a question past that of, okay, what, what more can you take? Looks like a probe is waiting to go ahead and grab some bases in that bottom right. Still some vultures nearby to go ahead and solidify that battle probe. Unfortunately, they're no match for the mighty vulture. Counter drop making its way across. And I don't see a lot of defenses here. There's a single dragoon to potentially engage this. This is still a fully mining base, and it's going to be a while before reinforcements are in position. Plus, they're going to see the switch to Stargate tech. So this is a big moment for Kiko. The Vulture's just feasting. Going to drop two there, another two, and some more Vultures sneaking to that natural expansion. There are some cannons there to provide some defense. The shuttle is empty. So a big disruption in Spaniard's economy. The probe's trying to find a location to flee, but there's vultures absolutely everywhere. The zealots finally engaging, taking care of those vultures at the main. The natural expansion still in free fire, and some mines also being well planted. So a big disruption attack from Kiko. Still significantly behind in supply, but disrupting a lot of mining at multiple points. And actually getting a lot of free damage done to try to buy some time. And also going to go ahead and drop this command center at that 1 o'clock location. And it looks like Kiko has been able to fill in with a significant amount of siege tanks. I cannot believe that these gateways are still up in the middle of the map. And I can't believe that Vulture is still alive. How many kills? Spaniard down to 37 probes all of a sudden. He can replenish that fairly rapidly. But that's giving Kiko a window back into this match. Another Nexus being grabbed in that bottom right. There's a mine blockading there. And Kiko just going to sit back, work on upgrades. Some vultures trying to make their way across. It looks like they're going to get expended. They're going to just get wiped out for free. And unfortunately for Spaniard, he was kind of going more gateway man style. Trying to rely on map control through having just a superior economy. And when you lose that many probes, oftentimes it can be very detrimental for that long-term game plan. Some vultures, looks like they were able to sneak through, get another probe kill. Actually, were they able to get a probe kill? Yeah, able to get the probe kill. Unfortunately, I think Spaniard over-dedicating attack forces to deal with this in this bottom right-hand corner. And Kiko doing a great job with these vultures, planting mines all over the place. And getting a lot of mine hits to equalize things. And Kiko's macro really standing up. You can just see the Dragoon corpses all over the place. Are there corpses? Do you call something? And actually, that vulture, I think, got a mine dragon and was able to kill that Dragoon bottom right. What would you... What? What is like a dead robot body? I mean, it technically is a robot, right? It's got like just a random zealot skull. Like a hero zealot becomes a dragoon, right? That's like the... Anyway. Vulture is going bottom right. <laughs> Get back to the cast. Is it just a corpse? If a Terminator dies, what do you call it? What do you... Anyway. I digress. A bunch of vultures going to go ahead and blockade that bottom right-hand corner. Mining still disrupted that bottom right. Finally, the probe count going back... To to 35. The main looking thin here for Kiko. Main is empty for Spaniard. He's got that natural expansion fairly saturated. Three clock base is fairly saturated. Needs to saturate that bottom right. And it's really critical that he gets a lot of these bases up and running again. And Kiko just doing a fantastic job having mines absolutely everywhere. Just and catching those probes again on transfer. See, it feels like Spaniard in this mid-game has been out of position to deal with Kiko, and Kiko's been everywhere with these vultures. Moving up with these siege tanks, the other thing that Spaniard needs to be careful of is the swing, uh, the swing around across that 12 o'clock location, because if he kind of follows this arc, you can oftentimes end up with a cap at that natural expansion and seal your opponent in. A bunch of siege tanks moving out in the map. They have level 2 weapons, level 1 armor. 
Some High Templar have been fielded, but I do not th know that it is sufficient High Templar to push back what Kiko's fielding, and Spaniard's completely not in position to stop Kiko for potentially getting a death grip on his natural expansion, sieging up on the low ground, and Spaniard's attack forces are nowhere to be seen. The Dragoon's just now reacting. There is a High Templar right there, but his attack forces in the meantime are bottom right defending this, bottom left doing who knows what. And I think Kiko, despite dropping behind briefly, might end up winning this match right here. These Dragoons getting boxed out, those mine hits just being absolutely huge. And Kiko reinforcing across the north, and it looks like he is going to be able to box Spaniard in. Reinforcements coming, it looks like there are shuttles here, but this is very delayed. There's plenty of siege tanks. Mine's actually from the south, I guess that's the other part of this map, is you got to reinforce from multiple locations. There's siege tanks on the high ground as well, the Dragoons getting splatted. No Psystorm that I see as of yet. And the High Templar dying before it's even able to get a shot off. Reinforcements coming from the right from Spaniard. And it looks like Spaniard might be able to break through this. Through just having, through pure muscle alone, a nice engagement from multiple locations. So loses a lot of his troops. Is actually behind in supply overall. But does break the contain at his natural expansion. Cleans it up. So he still lives to fight another day. Look at all these mines in the bottom right. I keep thinking that those are vultures or attack force. He's got an Arbiter out, but can he hold it is the next question. Kiko grabbing the 9 o'clock base. So he's got two fully functioning... <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? No! Oh, it's such a good game up to this stage. And Spaniard going to call it because of lag. And on a bad computer. And going to give the walkover for the next match. Oh, this is looking to be such a good match. And Kiko getting the drop on the main as well. That is unfortunate. And this is where I wish... I wish we could actually just have a professional league in location. So we wouldn't run into this problem. But Kiko getting the walkover... Casted this entire way to go into a oh that, that's this is the first this is a commentary first I'm going to say so I still think Kiko would have won it overall he was in a good economic position he was getting this drop I mean look at what's happening here getting on top of the tech as well but Spaniard going to withdraw from the match otherwise Ugh, that's disappointing to see we will move on to the I'll try to figure out where this puts us as far as the matches overall. We'll do, I think the winner's match still gets played. There's still one person to be eliminated, right? And we'll go on from there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.